Hello, everybody. Hello. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me today. I'm very excited to be back from my Minifold Adventures, and I am back with a new game to play, one that I am very excited about sharing with y'all. Uh, I've not played it, but I, I've i not played it... Well, that's not totally fair. I mean, say that more accurately. I've only played a couple of minutes of this. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a game. The hell of a game. This is Slay the Princess. It is a visual novel where we are going to, and you ain't gonna fucking believe this, Slay the Princess. Uh, this is a love story. Yeah, it's, it's certainly a love story to something, alright. So we're here for it. Lone Wolf, thank you so much for the sub, and I really appreciate it. I am sorry that, uh... You're on a path in the woods. I'm, uh, I'm genuinely glad path, it was good for you guys cabin. to go to the, uh, the, the meetup. I hate I missed it as well. Is a princess. I unfortunately had the, the distinct displeasure of laying one of my relatives to rest this weekend, which was pretty fucking sad, but, you know, that's the way she goes. Um, if it was up to me, I'd have been out with the boy, with the, with the Legion doing Legion things. Oh, uh, so it, it was not what I had in mind, and I hate that I couldn't have been there to have enjoyed it, but, you know, and I'm kind of, today especially, I'm kind of, after seeing some of the, the thing, the pictures from it, I'm actually pretty, uh, pretty sad that I missed it. I think perhaps maybe I should have done that instead, but we can't live in regrets. We have to move forward, and to do that, we play video games. We are, Zero. We're stabbing these princesses. Ducks, I'm happy to see you. I would have, like I said, uh, next year though, God willing, next year, I will be with you again once more in our beloved meetup location with the beloved meetup people, um, for I miss you all very much. Uh, I do love, I do love my time spent with the Legion. Alright, now let's get cooking here. Yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry, Mad Dogs. Well, God willing. Like I said, it's, uh... It, you know. Circumstances were against me this time, but not next time. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Yeah. Kill the woman, save the world. Too easy. Let's see here. It's the end of the world. What are we talking about? Uh, yeah, what are you talking about? Is the world in? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. I don't know if we do, Hidden Boss. We're going to find out together. And perhaps most problematically of all... I'm still working through the books I've got, Mandux, but thank you so much. have to put an end to her. I've still got three more of the ones you gave me and two I need to read on my own time. Uh, I've put a hiatus on everything because the end of the death part two just came out and I'm... It's long. Oops, I like a fool stuck a big bite of peanut mm, of lunch in my mouth right as that dude finished talking, so it really ruined my whole day there. But yeah, if she's locked in the basement, how is she gonna fuck everything up? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting. Uh, thank you, Mad Ducks. I love you anyway. I really appreciate you. Yeah, hidden boss. Who's gotta to talk to the narrator? We know that we're being narrated. You got any evidence to back up your claims of uh, this royalty ending our world? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? If you've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Okay. Uh. All right. Cool. Are you? Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the end of the world? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? Yeah, uh... Let's see here. Uh, do I get a reward at least? Am I going to get rewarded yes, for this? Yes, you'll have to slay her before you get it. Ah, uh, no payment up front, huh? 
All right, what is it? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Well, that's all I needed to hear, Chad. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. We're gonna we're gonna commit violence. You guys want to commit violence? I think we're sold, right? If I can just get something better than my wildest dreams, let's just do it. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. All right. Okay. A warning before you go any further. Uh huh. She will lie. She will cheat. And she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, you know, the voice of the hero versus the narrator. I'm sure that the narrator has our best interest at heart. Proceed to the cabin, please. Thank you. Up, the interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'll be taking that. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The pristine Door to the boy. basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, Slaying her is probably doing her. That's what they sent us to do, Hidden Bus. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Good. You're still listening to reason. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I've committed to the knife plan. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Don't, don't worry, Snark. We're on the way. We're on the way, buddy. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Uh, I'm not gonna say anything. We're just gonna go. We're gonna go murder Hobo. That's our plan. Stab time. The fucking chat is out here like the fucking uh, audience at the Colosseum in Rome. They're like, blood! Just walk forward, you dead silently. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So... You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Well, I mean, it's the name of the game. It's the name of the game. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. I'm one scaly looking motherfucker. Why, why do I have feathers? What the fuck kind of horrible bird person am I? This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago. That arrogant look still plastered on her face. Mission complete. We can we can leave now. 
But is it over? Really over? I'm not so sure. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. I really think I should. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Let's see about. Let's check for a pulse. Eh? Make sure we we don't leave jobs half done here. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse. Even though you know you're not going to find one, we definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry. Do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Wait. What was that? You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat. Followed by another. And another. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I guess we're even now. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? It doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you, for whatever that's worth. Everything goes dark, and you die. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Wait, it's already happened, yeah? Oh, rumble. It hasn't. Or if it has, I certainly haven't been a part of it. We've just met for the first time, you and I. Yeah, that's good hog days. It's pretty rad, Mad Dogs. What up, Ether? Thanks for the bits. Ether, thank you. All right, let's do this shit. If he doesn't remember what happened, then I... This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Stabbed to death? And you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Well, let's do it. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. He couldn't be more on the money, but we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. But we know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Didn't mention that mirror on the wall. 
that's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. Care whether I'm being light. I'm just gonna approach the mirror. You walk up to this really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. Right, well we're gonna need that knife. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her earn for what she's done to us. I think how the voice that she did sounds like the blackguard from, uh... The door to the basement ring. creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. We'll find out in our time, Mad Ducks. I have no doubt of that. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favour. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody. Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? Her <laughs> stab. The princess falls silent, her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Who's meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first, then yours. Hehe. <laughs> How? What, what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest, and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh, where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Bull shit. Absolute bullshit. You're going to die now. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything. Well, it's going up, great! And you die. We're doing good! Woohoo! You're on a path in the woods. No. Fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. All right, knock it off with the spoilers, buddy. Oh, what? The interior of the cabin is sharp. A constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Oh, ho, ho, ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? We did go the first time. We'll get her again. Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. 
we have to fight. Good. It's better that way. Without a fight, no. Oh, uh, we're picking up voices. No one can win, then nothing has any meaning. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. Nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. I don't want to talk over this. This is fucking cool. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? Wait up, Rimmer. Listen, I want to. I would love to just burn her out. Like I said, I just, uh, I can't talk over this. This kind of sucks, but I love it. The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched. We take it. Okay, sure. You take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. That's right. We've got to be able to win eventually. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door. It's just that mirror again. It's also the only thing that doesn't move, and I think that's kind of cool. The mirror, the mirror is the only thing static. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we Christine, can't Blaine. trust it. Sorry, man, Dex. We're gonna get in there, and there's gonna be it's some in our meaty way. Let's slicing. Just break it and move on. Make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. Eh, ah, surprising. It was never there. Just an illusion. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic, an unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi! It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. It, they don't even care if something does. I'm having a great time. Come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Well, it's me, Samurai. Hello. Long of the Ming. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. That she's loose, and she is coming for you. You are going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Yes. Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. We're, uh... Let's beat her to it. We just gotta kill her. No, no, that's a terrible idea. A win's a win. Screw it, we've already died twice. A third is a third. It's bad. Who cares? <sighs> Fine. You raise your blade above I said, I'll just kill myself. You can't stop me. Oh, this is new. What are you going to do? Are you- Then you skewer yourself. I'll just kill her. Now. Are we still here? Can we not actually off ourselves? Boo! Huh. That didn't do much of anything. 
We're tougher than I thought. <laughs> oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Nah. We'd know if we died. Right? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I think we're dead. And that's all we'll ever be. Dead. 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 Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us ah, yes. better than her. Enough of us. Enough of me inside of me will be enough me to defeat her. Natural. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is More to noise. keep fighting. Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving. Who cares about getting better than her? Let's do something weird. Like, really, really weird. Come on, show me something new. All, all of these ideas suck. Oh, there we go. We're gonna fight her again, and we're just gonna we're just not gonna feel it. We're just gonna say no. It doesn't work. She just fucking murders us indefinitely. We just move from life to life in a con a continuous stream of consciousness. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. What's the point? It's all the same. She skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. She skewers you. Do you see that? We almost had her. That was luck. But we only have to get lucky once. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. She skews you. <laughs> You're cute. She can't stab all of us. Damn right, Mercury. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Just panic. Flee. She skews you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Excuse us, you. We can't, <laughs> can't you feel it? One last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. None of this is working. Think. Think. Excuse us, you. And then everything goes dark. And you die. Mutually assured destruction. That sounds rad. Oh, look, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. I like Voice of the Hunted. So far, he's my favorite. Oh, what if? Rub it out the window. Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? Sure, I can think of a better way to die. Yeah, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter. 
with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room, or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to win. Fine. You make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. Nah, I do not. No, I have just enough. This is how we're gonna win. We're gonna do this. Oh, oh shit. Hold on. I fucked up somehow. There we go. Then when I hit the you menu know, button. This last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. All right, lady. We're just uh, we're real resilient. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. I'm gonna skip everything from now on, Stork. Like that. Go on somewhere with that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? I do. I do want to see it. What you got, lady? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait. And not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. Please do. do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk now? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. It becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of oh, shit! against the wall. Look at this fucking thing. Hell yeah! Look at that guy! A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Uh... Lady, you do something that metal again, it might be me! Holy shit! She's... gorgeous. Absolutely divine! I didn't know she could do something that rock and roll. Log Woodman would be so perfect. Yes! Behold, the perfect woman. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Stubborn. <laughs> Do you think we can throw her out? No, you NC. She's somewhat desirable. She can't be my lord. That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all. Just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. What just happened? It's so quiet. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Do not act. And yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but your blow finishes its arc. You're ready to be, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Thank you. Weapons clash again and again, and you and her enter a rhythm of free thought and free of self. It's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your heart's found. The faster the momentum, the volleys between you. In an endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition, and her strikes too. Both strikes lethal. Neither of you will survive. 
but neither of you fear what is to come. This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die. Something is taking her place. And it's... Well, fuck that one up, who cares? A mirror! THE mirror! You approach. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. Silence as you reach forward. They are gone, but the mirror remains. It's you. You're alone in some place that's empty. It is quiet here. You're at the cabin. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. <laughs> Be not afraid. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I, what do I appear to be? I think that you are like me. Uh, that's not a good thing to be. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of the fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. The music's pretty. This one is sharp like and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. I wasn't gonna mourn her. I was trying to stab her for like 20 minutes. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? That's a good question, actually. Are you what sent me? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. the world's beyond this place? I know only that they are. That's not very helpful. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. Well, she, you're very pretty, that I'll say. Are you always, are you just making yourself a part of her, or whatever the reverse of that would be? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Sometimes. Sometimes it does. That's why, like, you know, I'd be very good at, like, excising tumors if I couldn't tell the difference. Luckily, I'm not a doctor who does that, so it doesn't matter. Log Whitman only knows where heads meet, meet necks. That's where he likes to make sure things end. Let's see here. Speaking of which, I figure we should probably do that again later with this princess, you know, the part without the head. Do we know what I'm there? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. Explore the orange limbs and blades. Uh, you know, we're just gonna stare at it. Oh! Ye, uh, if Rob wants to hop in. Sure. Thank you. Have a good one, Zork. I'd love to. Welcome. Good to see you. I'm here to touch your ear holes. Ah, well, thanks. Hello, everyone. I haven't been on in a while. Thank you for letting me come in. No problem. Happy to join in this... Wow. This. Yeah, yeah there's a lot going on. You're, I'm glad you're here for it. Yeah, um, me too. So what happens now? 
nothing. Uh, we, we attack are. the entity. But I know that there are worlds beyond us. <laughs> Kill it with and fire! I'm not killing them. the entity. I love the entity. Yeah, the entity probably loves us too. Look at all those spiny bits. Like, how could it not? Yeah, listen, this is my taste in women, Rob. There I'll tell her to shave no first, fuck. But this vessel is a creature that's, of perception. That's an evergreen bush that I never needed to see. Make you forget. If only you it's a god, it's must die. Look, we're not in Narnia, Ferris. Also, hello. Hi, hello, Mad Ducks. This is not a god, Ferris. It's, what, it's not even my princess. It's nothing. This is nothing, and we will make it into something. <laughs> what are we? What are we in 40k? This is nothing. This is just an entity in the warp. We will form it into Zinch. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got a plan and a knife. I've got a plan and a knife. Got it. That is my that is my words. I have a plan and a knife. Uh, those two things may or may not be helpful. But right now, I gotta get through this. Bring you more perspectives. All right, cool. So like. No, I almost said something that was pretty, that's pretty not stream cool, actually. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> how many she were... likes to get hands on. Look at all those hands. She may actually be able to cover the width and breadth of my deck. She's hands. <laughs> Hand monster. She is hands. She's very handy. Yeah. Slanest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, open up your sun nest. That's fine. How much will I forget? Everything. Well, that's not very helpful, Everything. madam. Biblically accurate princess. Biblically <laughs> accurate. <laughs> ah, uh, that's good. I like that. Uh, how many more pieces of you are there, anyway? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. And where can I find the spot between your legs? <laughs> the rest will find their own way home. Well, the rest will find their own way. That's not very helpful. I am infinite. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, what? All right, cool. Apparently, she's got all day to just let parts come on home. I guess so. I mean, we do too. We died like seven times. You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remove. So I've stepped into that kind of Japanese game. That's not Japanese, I don't think. But it's pretty wild. You aren't going to tell me that this isn't some sort of anime in front of me. It's, it's not, as far as I can tell. But again, there's a whole... You're being semantic, sure. though. What do, you, what do you want, lady? How can I know? I am flickers and something sprawling. And I like how you talk in circles, madam. Why is she growing? Uh, well, we're gonna because we are growing. We're growing her. We are making this. All right, cool. Um, all right. Well, send me back through, lady. Let's let's do it again. Cause I don't I don't care. What if we find a way to kill her? We find a way to kill her. And I'm not gonna say no. I want this. I want to. Well, actually, I do want to know. What are you gonna do if I say no? I do want to know that. Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Alright. Well, send me back Nobody through. Nobody likes she to be dry and hollow. I, I won't forget her. She did stab me seven times. I tend to forget, remember women who do that. You won't. This isn't even your first stabber, is it? No, we're, yeah, we're back. We're back at the start. Back around and around it goes, and now I'm here. You're on a path at the top of this. The woods. And at the end of that path, this is really just a like cabin. a retelling of Nemi's life. Of that cabin, you know, it's it's, it's definitely you know dramatized, but you're here to slay her. As soon as we got to the women stabbing part, we knew it will be the end. It's happened before. I hope it doesn't happen again. That's the most unfortunate part. <laughs> it's happened before. I hope it doesn't happen again. I've been stabbed many times, Rob. Twice by women, and it's it's somehow just as bad every time. It's almost like a blade has no gender. <laughs> it's almost like being stabbed just kind of sucks, Chief. Yeah, getting stabbed is just the worst. <laughs> it kind of is, yeah. Alright, let's see here. The end of the world. Oh yeah, right. We're back here. We don't remember anything. 
okay. Okay, we got a lot of options here. Um, well, I get the feeling we should just go kill her and then not get killed by her, right? Let's. We should explore the variant ways we do this, right? So, so the plan here is we need to do variant permutations of this. That's what the angel told us. She said, go up here and do things different. So we're just going up and we're going to start making micro differences to what we do. Uh, I say Sonic Ducks because you get a slushy. Slushy pretty good. Oh, slushies. Yeah. Taco Bell's got the food. Sonic doesn't have good food. And Subway's overpriced right now. It costs $16 for a foot long. You remember when a, fo a foot long was $5? Five $5? Five dollars Remember when that was like fucking real? You'll find the princess within. A warm, fucking McDonald's doesn't even have a dollar menu further. anymore. Hey, did you, man? She will lie. Oh, no, she will cheat. You get the veggie she sub and pay eight dollars. Well, some of us need to put you from sweaty, sweaty, out. sweet, don't believe a salty meats in our mouth, Mad Ducks, and that person's me. <laughs> so we're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. So Burger King, right now. This is look. Fuck your game, nephew. This is the this is the power. You know what? You're right. The fuck the game, power. dog. You got it. You got it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, you think I'm kidding. I'm I'm done. Have a good day, everybody. What you done? Yeah. <laughs>